Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this video, I'm going to show you something really cool. Um, this is something that I uh, just came across recently in playing with some of the new features that we rolled out. It's not something that I've traded with for a long time, so I don't want to pretend that I have like a ton of experience with this, because obviously this tool that I'm going to show you here and use here is relatively new to TrendSpider. So I, like you, are just getting used to using it. But this is something that I found that has been really interesting and useful as a trader that I think you'll enjoy. So here it goes. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the sidebar here, the drawing menu, and I'm going to click on the draw volume by price button. It is the last one at the very bottom. The hotkey on a Mac is option B and on a PC it is LB. So I, I'm a, I know that hotkey so I'm going to use it. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select that drawing tool. You can see it's the bottom one here. And I'm going to measure from the top to the bottom of the most recent biggest completed price move. So on Raytheon here, it's the high from February to the low of March. And that's going to give me a volume profile distribution for that period of time. All right, this is the volume profile on the way down. All right, lots of people would look at that. But look at this. First off, the point of control, the purple line is up here at 79 bucks, right? The VWAP is down here, right, at 72. And look how perfectly that VWAP from this price move down predicted the bounce point, right, where it topped off. Um, this is uh, something that I see play out a lot. So I'm going to show you a handful of other examples of this that I made. Um, it works as far as I can tell, just like a Fibonacci retracement, right? You want to find the right impulse move, you want to measure that move, and then you want to look for the point of control and the VWAP from that move for future support and resistance. So let's look at it on a handful of charts. Um, let's go to Dow uh, and look at that. This is one that I did earlier, right? When you measure from the very high to the very low, the VWAP almost perfectly predicts where it bounced in the beginning of June. Let's keep going. Let's look at Boeing here, BA. Same type of story, right? You measure from the high to the low. The POC is all the way here at 281, but price can't get near it because price is stuck under the view app from that down move at about 216 or less, right? You can see it did briefly pop above this, right, for two days, and then it pulled back, all right? And that's something I've noticed. Uh, you do see, like, it's not like a perfect level, right? Just like a FIB level, price will pierce it but pull back. Right, um, let's look at another one. Let's look at Hyatt Hotels. It's another one I did a few minutes ago. You can see the same exact story here, right? The VWAP from the major impulse move down provided resistance on the way back up. Um, we can look at United Airlines, right? And we can see that on United Airlines, if we measure the move up, right, because the most recent completed move is a move up, right, it retraces right to that VWAP line just like in reverse, right? So I wanted to throw this in here to show you that this works both ways. Um, and last example I'll pull up here. Let's look at like Goodyear Tire. This is one I did a little bit earlier too. And you see something similar, right? The VWAP from the impulse move down, right, is right around here at about 10, 11 bucks and price hasn't yet gotten to it. I imagine once it does, it's gonna struggle a little bit to continue on. So I hope that uh, I hope that you guys found this to be interesting, um, as I do. I think it's a super interesting uh, way to measure volume and use it in trading to identify potential key levels for the future, especially if you're just coming off a major impulse move, right? This is one way to get a sense for how much wiggle room that way, there is on the way back up. Um, if you found this interesting, again, this is available to all TrendSpider customers. Feel free to play with it. It's called the Draw Volume by Price tool in the side menu. And this is just one of several really interesting volume-based tools built into TrendSpider. Um, you know, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time rehashing this because I know a lot of y'all know this, but there is the combination of this and anchored VWAP that is very powerful and very predictive, and you often find a sandwich type of scenario, as well as our raindrop charts, our anchored volume profile, and more to come. So again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you find this interesting. If you decide uh, to play with it and find a cool chart, please post it on Twitter and tag us in it. I'd love to see them myself. Thank you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.